Bug post time. We've got some information when the new Orcus raids are coming to the game. And also, there is a date for the offers for Thanos. We're going to talk a little bit about that because I think they've been making some unfriendly changes to free to play players before we get into the blog post we're going to go over up dogs and brotherhood of the storm storm watch battle in arena on 817 battle arena for weekend arena warriors starting on the 17th so that's going to be tomorrow and you will get bonus points for using like silver surfer ultimus and gladiator now you only have to use silver surfer and ultimus once and then the other amount of points is mostly going to come from doing 10 attacks uh just normal attacks so you could get 500 points total 5,000 points that way so for me what this means is not do my arena attacks until after server reset tomorrow which is two o'clock pacific standard time on saturday then on the 19th which is going to be monday spin campaign energy been campaign energy to earn illumination orb fragments for the cosmic threat event that's also starts at the same time and then we've got battle and raids battle and raids for galactic peril web milestone starting on the 19th so pretty simple week as far as events we're gonna get to the blog post so we talked about that that's the weekend arena um weekend arena warriors now that events in game if you want to take a look at that and on Monday, Cosmic Deck earn Illumination Orb Fragments from Campaigns, Galactic Para, Web Mindstone, Battle and Raids, Ghost Rider, Robbie Blitz, Strike Pass Feature, Black Panther, Shuri. Now, it's also worth noting that there was a data mine that said it was split between Shuri and Hank. And so I, I'm curious to see what actually happens because um, the post here just says Shuri. Now, some people said that it's better to have one because then you get more and you get less if you get even amounts of each. So... I know that a lot of people preferred this than this split, but we'll have to see. Raid on Orcus Live. So this is going to be uh, replacing the Orcus raids. Um, the, the, the incursion raids. The green energy raids is my understanding. And this is going to be live on Monday. Now, there was a change, and it's a subtle change, on the blog for the, that was put out on the 12th. And the reason for that is that I actually have a copy of the old one. And this is a small change, but I do feel like it is slightly player friendly. So before, like there's two sides. One started started at Mutant and it went to Mystic, which is probably going to be a mess because of Bifrost. And then it's going to go to Tech, which is going to be a mess because of Pegasus. And the idea here is that this Mystic area is going to get a lot easier when we get, I, I'm, I'm probably going to forget the name of the team, but this uh, the Night Stalkers, right? And then here is Orcus. And then the same thing was true on the other side. It started in skill and then it went tech mystic. So it went from, and I and, and I don't know that this is true, but I'm gonna assume that this is easy. This is gonna be hard or nearly impossible. Same thing here until the new teams come up. Now, if this was, this is a screenshot right here of the old, the what it was when it was originally published, but they republished it. So this is the same post but the graphics have been updated and the order has been changed and it is a very 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 small change but in my opinion more favorable where it's still mutant mystic and then it was tech now it's skill so this means that you could use spider society and the assumption that is being made that that is going to be easier than the mystic or the tech same thing is true on the other side it starts off with skill goes to tech and then before it was supposed to be Mystic, but they switched to the buyer of the Mystic Room. Whether that makes a difference, it's still going to be challenging. We don't know. Hopefully, we'll find out on Monday, right? We'll find out on Monday on whether or not this is uh, meaningful or not. We'll have to find out. Okay, so that's Monday. 23rd. Um, wait, is that Monday? Is the 19th Monday? Am I saying the right? Yeah, Monday. And so the Monday is the 19th, and then the 23rd is on Friday. Cosmic Protector, Quick Rumble Bats, Blitz with Infinity Watch. Thanos in-game initial release, Thanos Annihilator, Team Orbs, and Thanos Crusade. Now, something I want to talk about that is a little bit concerning that uh, situation that has happened starting with Hank and uh, going on right now with Gladiator. Like, everybody's like, where's the Gladiator event? Because, like, we're going to go through this and there's no Gladiator, Gladiator event. So there was two changes that have been made, which I 
think are not player friendly. The first one was is now the delaying the the bumps, you know, the 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 access to character shards inside of orbs. It, in the way it was in the past, it was usually about a month out, and now it's like three months out. So there's a change to the bump schedule. Bumps is going to be basic orbs, ultimate store, uh, mega orbs, premium orbs, and then the supply shop, right? So that's not player friendly. They're they're delaying things out, and and that's starting with annihilators, which is an arena team, and they're important. A lot of people are saving, you know, basic, premium, and mega orbs. Then it feels like, and this is not confirmed, that from the initial release to the event, there's a larger gap, and that was painfully obvious with Hank Pym, and it feels like it's also happening now with um gladiator coincidence probably not probably not what probably not is what is it what i'm going to say okay inevitable arrival in game thanos so they go over uh the thanos release method re-mention of the orcus raids there's a friday fleet claim there's also a really cool claim right now a pool party inbox which had a lot of different stuff like 500 power cores and 10 million gold so be a look on your inbox right now i know that was a pleasant surprise and i think that is about it for the blog post i mean everything else in here is just related to events there's also going to be a black knight costume event which is going to be a gold black knight for me, these gold costumes like they did with King and Dormammu and I guess uh, the other one is Apocalypse. I mean, it's literally just a shader. It's not a new costume. I I don't think it looks good and it's it's terrible. In fact, it's terrible. I don't like them. Maybe you do, I don't. I guess this was a thing from Overwatch where they would give you a gold gun. I don't think it translates that well to Marvel Strike Force. So they're going to be getting a gold Black Knight. And somebody in chat suggested, wouldn't this be way cooler to have like a costume like this? Yes, it would be way cooler to have a costume like this than a gold Black Knight. It doesn't even make sense. Gold Black Knight. What are we going to get? A gold Black Panther? We're going to get a gold Black Cat? What? We're going to get a gold Scarlet Witch? I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's trash. Yeah, you can keep it. All right, quick question right here. Is it worth bringing Gambit to gear tier 19? I believe the answer is no. Uh, in general, um, most people have told me that Gambit was not super helpful in Dark Dimension 7. And also, the unique on Gambit is one that is used by a lot of characters. Um, and the new Thanos specifically. A Nightcrawler uses it, Vol uses it. There's a bunch of characters that use this, so a lot of people are saying to save it for Thanos and that Gambit is not great. I actually think that the Gladiators are probably good choices for Cosmic if you have a way of doing that. And then lastly, there were some questions about um, some arena payout issues that were bugged, and this is off of their tech support side. It says, solved. Arena payout was missing Gladiator, Annihilator, or Fragments. This is already fixed. However, some players received their payout before the fix. We'll send this missing orbs between this and next week. So that is all the news for the day. Let me know what you think in the comment section as always. Thanks for watching. Keep it gaming. Bye for now.